Hello, welcome to this tutorial for Arma 3 Alpha. I want to show you how to access the 3D editor. However, keep in mind that it's very, very, very incomplete. Um, probably even more incomplete than it was in Arma 2. Um, anyways, there are no ways to access it uh, from within the game. There are no shortcuts and there are no menu items. They've removed all access to it. However, there is a small exploit that we can use uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so basically, um, uh, and this this applies to all armor games. You can pass the path of a mission file to the game executable, executable, and it'll load that mission in the editor directly. So, for example, if you go into um, your documents folder and you copy the path of one of your missions, and then pass that to the executable file, then uh, the game once you start it uh, will load uh, the 2D mission editor and then load that mission file into it. Uh, and uh, and this is where it gets useful for us because we can also pass a 3D mission file to it and it'll lo load that into the 3D mission editor. Um, so all we have to do is uh, create a new folder in your Arma 3 folder. So go to your Steam folder, Steam Apps Common Arma 3, and then create a new folder and just call it 3D.stratus and then go inside it and then uh, hit the left alt key on your keyboard and then go to tools folder options view and then make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unticked and hit OK then right click in the folder new text document select the whole thing and type mission dot b i e d i and hit enter and if it asks just hit yes this is the extension of the 3d mission file format the uh, extension of uh, 2D mission file format uh, of the 2D mission file format is uh, uh, SQM, and uh, this is all we need. We don't need to add anything to this file because an empty uh, 3D mission uh, file is valid. So uh, just uh, copy the path up here. Just copy that, and then go back into the uh, game folder. Then right-click on Arma3.exe and create a shortcut right click the shortcut and go to properties and then in the target text box after the uh, the uh, the path of the game executable just to put two quotes two double quotes and inside those uh, paste the the path to that folder and then of course backslash mission dot b i e d i so we have the full path to the 3d mission file and then after the whole thing you probably want to add dash no splash so we don't have to sit through the title screens every time we want to launch the 3D editor. Then hit OK and uh, maybe rename the shortcut to like Arma 3 uh, 3D editor and then just launch the shortcut and uh, it should load directly into the 3D mission ed editor with our uh, empty valid 3D mission file open. Uh, and my game launches in window mode and that's not because you're launching the 3D editor that's because I've set the games to launch in window mode for the purposes of the tutor this tutorial and loading will take about a minute so I'm just gonna cut it And there we go. Um, so if you haven't used the 3D editor before, there are a few things you need to know. First of all, it's a lot more advanced uh, than the 2D editor. Um, and what I mean by that is that the 2D editor, if you place a unit, you just double click somewhere and place a unit and the 2D editor will automatically create a group and a site for you. But you have to do that manually in the 3D editor. So to create a unit, you first have to create a group. And to create a group, you first have to create a center. So uh, first of all, scroll down, find center, click, then double click somewhere on the map, and then choose the side you want to create. In this case, I'm just going to select blue 4, and then change the friend state of up 4 to 0, hit OK, and double click again somewhere, and change the side to up 4, and then change uh, the friend state of blue 4 to 0. So now those two sides are each other's enemies. And then scroll up to group and double click somewhere and then select the side you want to create a group for. In this case, I'm going to create a, uh, a group.
group for uh, West or Blue 4, hit OK. And then select the unit and then double click somewhere. Select the unit type you want, like uh, Rifleman, uh, this will look good, and hit OK. And the first unit you insert will take about 10 seconds to insert. And there we go. So uh, now you can move it around like you can in the 2D Mission Editor, or you can click Edit in 3D World, and then you can edit it in the 3D World. And um, the way you do this is that you use WASD to move the camera around, and Q and Set to move up and down, and then you hold down the right mouse button to look around. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and as you can see, the interface doesn't fill out the entire screen and that's a problem because you can only manip manipulate with stuff that's inside this square right here. Uh, so for example if your unit is outside the square, even though he's on the screen, you can't manipulate with him. Uh, so you have to move the camera so that he's inside this square right here. And then you can do whatever. Um, and then it works just like the two editor, you can move him around just by dragging him. You can uh, drag select, uh, you can hold that shift to rotate just like in a two editor. And then uh, in the three editor, while you move, you can hold down Alt, and then you can uh, move them up and down as well. Um, and then you can, of course, you can place vehicles, which you can rotate as well. And then you can hit Preview, just like in the two editor, and uh, try your mission. And then you can switch back to the three D with three D world, and as you can see, it stays uh, how it was when you previewed it. So to go back to how you placed it in the editor, just hit restart and it'll reset. There we go. Um, and of course you can also, you know, like get in the vehicle, go somewhere, stop, get out. What the hell did that just happen? Okay, that, I did not expect that. Anyways, then you can go back into the 3D world mode and then you can like, for example, add another vehicle. Uh, quad bike, why not? rotate it, oops, move it up a bit like so, then preview again and you can continue with a new vehicle out and there we go and if you hit restart it'll reset all the objects back to their original state it'll not remove the objects, it'll just uh, put them back to where they were and that's pretty much it and then you can save and load just like uh, the 2D editor um, but uh, it's very incomplete so you can't really use it for anything Anything, anything series. Um, however, I will, I will show you what you can use it for, which I use it for, because positioning in the 2D editor is very difficult when you have to, uh, you know, get the unit up in the air or something. Um, like if you want to place the unit on the building uh, or in that uh, watchtower right here. Uh, so I'll show you how you can do that by uh, using both the 3D and the 2D editor at the same time. Um, so basically let's just uh, remove all these units right here and uh, then go into your game folder again and scroll down right click somewhere in the folder hit new text document and then uh, name it steam underscore app ID dot txt and then open up the file and put 107410 save and close and that will allow you to run multiple instances of the game on the same computer uh, so now Come along to game again, just run on the 3.exe, not the 3D editor, just the exe. Um, and we just have to wait for it to load. And then open the 2D editor. Then you just you know make missions like you usually do. Um, so I like place a player, um, place maybe some enemies down here. Uh, quite a lot, like so. And uh, let's say you want the player to start on this building, so you place him here, and then you'd have to preview.
then you'd realize that it's not in the right position and it's not the right height and then you'd have to go back and then you have to reposition it until you get it right. Um, so what you can do with this, uh, with the 3D editor and the 2D editor is that once you, you know, you need to, to place a unit somewhere specific, you can say your mission, I'm just going to call it my mission, then uh, go into the, go switch back into the 3D, 3D editor which is still running and then place the unit, uh, any unit where you want uh, to place your unit in the 2D editor. So let me just uh, uh, find that point. Uh, must be somewhere over here. It's a long way. Let's just go into the 2D editor. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right here. Place a the unit there. Yeah, why not? And edit in 3D world. And there we go. So. Now I want him to stand up here, so I just move him, oops, make sure he's inside the square. Move him, hold on Alt to move him up, there we go. Rotate, uh, maybe move over a bit. So that's where I want him, so now I just hit save, and then just hit OK, just uh, save as it is. Okay, and that will create a new folder in the missions folder in Documents Armor 3 Alpha and Missions, which is right here. So if you go into that, that's the 3D mission that we've just saved. Um, so now if we right click and hit Edit with Notepad++, if you don't have not Notepad++, just uh, hit Open With or Open up here and choose the regular Notepad. Uh, actually, let me, let me just do that just in case you don't have Notepad++. Uh, notepad, hit OK, and there we have it. This is our unit. And in case you have like a lot of units, you could just give them a name in the editor, and then one of these will say the name you gave them, and then you can easily find it. And here are the coordinates, and here is the rotation of the unit. So we basically just need to copy this into the 2D mission file. So if we go back into our missions folder, and find our my mission .stratus, which is the 2D mission file fi folder, uh, and this is a 2D mission file. Right click on it, open, select program, uh, select notepad. There we go. Hit OK, and then find the unit we need to place, which is the player. Uh, yeah, it must be this one. Yep, that's this one. Here are the coordinates for the player, so we just need to copy the coordinates from the 3D mission file to here. Uh, however, uh, the 3D mission editor uses a different coordinate system format than the 2D mission editor. The 2D, sorry, the 3D mission editor uses X, Y, and Z, while the 2D mission editor uses X, Z, and Y. So we need to switch them around a bit. So first of all, let's just copy the X and the Y coordinates from the 3D mission editor. So just select that, copy, and then just select all three coordinates, uh, all three axes uh, in the 2D mission editor and paste. Uh, and then insert the Y right here. So now we have X, uh, sorry, these, the Z. So now we have X, uh, Y, or Z, uh, and uh, Y. Um, and then we just need to copy the azimuth or azimuth as well, uh, so just like that in the 3D mission file, copy and insert it down here in the 2D mission editor file and then save it, the mission.sqm, close the file, close this as well, go into the 2D editor and now open the mission, so just open the same one as you have open and hit OK and now the unit will be exactly where we placed him in the 3D mission editor, so hit preview and uh, well, and whoops, I forgot something. Obviously, <laughs> forgot the Y coordinate. Sorry, the set coordinate. Um, um, so go back into the 3D uh, mission file. I'm, I'm just going to open it with a notepad plus plus because uh, now you know how to open it. Um, <coughs> and then uh, copy the the set 
coordinate from the 3D mission file and then go back into the my mission illustrators so the the 2D mission file edit it uh, find the player again which is right here and then not here but uh, create a new property or actually to make that easy let's go into the editor and just double click on the player here and then in the elevation put the set so the the height coordinate right here hit OK save and preview And there we go. I'll start on the roof. So um, yeah, now you don't have to to place your unit uh, several times and preview and go back and alter him and then go back again. So uh, this makes it a whole lot easier. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, and. Uh, just to clarify, let me just do it once, one, once more. Um, so let's uh, remove these, and then let's move the player somewhere um, over here again. Uh, maybe the maybe um, set the elevation to zero, and then um, go into the three D editor and switch to two D. Move the unit. Over here, uh, right here, and edit in 3D world, and then maybe um, let's find a place to put him. Um, hell, I don't know. Um, Let's just, let's just put him in this this god tower right here, a watchtower or whatever. Um, so move him up and over. Hey, he needs to face that way and be approximately there. Edit in 3D world. Oh, that's actually pretty pretty good. Um, he just needs to be moved up just a bit. And a bit over. Maybe a bit more up. And there we go. So now we can just save again. Hit OK. Go back into the 3D mission folder. Open the BIEDI file. Or if you've got Notepad, you just switch back to Notepad. Notepad. And then. Um, It'll uh, say the file was modified and reload it. And uh, again, we just uh, take the same unit and we copy the X and the Y coordinates, go into the 2D mission file, and uh, then uh, replace the coordinates of that with that, and then add the the uh, the Y in the center, just zero again, because we need to put the the hide in the the elevation property or the auto y, uh, so just save it and then uh, go back into the three D mission file. Copy the y, oh sorry, the set coordinate. Uh, copy. Go into the editor. Load the mission, and then we just need to double click him and set the elevation. Uh, hit OK. Save preview. And oops, I forgot something. I uh, forgot the azimuth. So uh, basically, back into the 3D mission file, copy the azimuth, go into the 2D file, and paste the azimuth. Save, go into the editor, uh, sorry, the 2D editor, and restart.
and oh shit sorry that was my fault forgot to reload it there we go preview And there we go. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I use the 3D editor for because it's just um, too lacking in features. Uh, it's very, 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 very incomplete. So um, yeah, but this certainly makes it easier to place uh, stuff that you need to elevate. Um, so um, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully you were able to follow this tutorial and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it too. Um, so anyways, I'm sorry if I've uh, mumbled a lot but um I haven't slept all night and it's now one PM um and I'm extremely dehydrated so I've got difficulty speaking right now. So um anyways thank you for watching and uh, bye.